Zoom is a technology program that lets people connect to the same meeting from any location by video. Your court may use Zoom to conduct court proceedings. This video will tell you how to join your proceeding on Zoom at the scheduled time. It will also tell you how to join interpretation if you have asked for an interpreter. To join the remote proceeding on Zoom, you will need a device for video and audio. This may be a computer, such as a laptop or desktop, a tablet, or a smartphone. The device must have a camera for video and a microphone for audio. It must also have access to the internet by wired connection, Wi-Fi, or cellular data. If you do not have access to one of these devices, you may be able to dial into a remote court proceeding on Zoom using a landline or mobile phone. Notify the court if you need this option, particularly if you need interpretation. At about 10 minutes before your scheduled court proceeding, join the meeting by selecting the Zoom meeting link or entering it into a web browser. Or, if you downloaded the Zoom application, open it on your device. Then, enter the meeting ID and the meeting passcode if required. You can find this information in the invitation you received from the court. Keep in mind, if using the Zoom application, be sure that you have downloaded all the latest updates, particularly if you have previously installed the application onto your device. If you are using a computer and you did not download the Zoom application, you can go to zoom.us slash join on any web browser. Enter the meeting ID and select join. Zoom will ask you if you would like to download the application or join via a web browser. Select join from your browser. You may also be prompted to enter your name when joining, particularly if you have not connected to Zoom on your device before. Be sure to enter your full name and that it does not show up as iPhone, your phone number, or another family member's name. This will help the court identify you. Zoom will also prompt you to connect to audio and video. Be sure to allow access to your camera and select Join with Video if prompted. If asked how you want to join audio, select your device's audio or connect over Wi-Fi. On a phone or tablet, you may also connect using cellular data if you prefer. Note that data rates apply. If your device does not have a microphone, you can use a telephone for audio. Refer to the meeting invitation and call one of the phone numbers listed. Follow the prompts to enter your meeting ID and passcode if required. Again, notify the court if you will be dialing in, especially if you need an interpreter. When you join, you may need to wait until the court starts the meeting or lets you into the meeting. If this happens, you will see a notification to wait until the host lets you in. If there are other cases before yours, you may have to wait a while until your case is called. When the court lets you in, you will see the other participants on screen. Make sure you can see them clearly and that they can see you. On a computer, you may need to select Gallery View from the View menu to see all participants. Selecting Speaker View will only show the person speaking. On a smartphone or tablet, you can tap the nine square icon for Gallery View. You may have to swipe to see all of the other participants. Sit directly in front of your camera so that you are in full view. Make sure your microphone is muted with a red slash over the microphone icon. Note that the court may have certain settings selected that control what you can see and do. For example, the court may have the gallery view disabled. It may also have all participants' microphones set to mute. If so, you will get a message prompting you to unmute when it is your turn to speak. If you have asked for an interpreter for your court proceeding, you must select a language channel when you join the meeting. On a computer, select the globe icon on the toolbar. Then, select the language you wish to speak in and hear. On a tablet or smartphone, select the More or Three Dots icon. Select Language Interpretation from the menu that appears and then select your language. Be sure to select Done to confirm your selection and be placed into your language channel. Once in your language channel, you will hear the interpreter speaking. 
you will also hear the English-speaking parties at a very low volume. If you do not want to hear the English-speaking parties, select Mute Original Audio from the Language Interpretation menu. Throughout the proceeding, do not interrupt the judge or others as they are speaking, but do let the judge know if you have questions or technical difficulties. On Zoom, you can do this by using the Raise Hand icon. You can get to this icon by selecting the Reactions icon on a computer or the three dots or more menu on a smartphone. Using the Raise Hand icon will place a small hand next to your name and over your video. This signals to the judge and other participants that you have a question or a problem. At the end of your court proceeding, the court may end the meeting or will tell you that you can leave. Select the red Leave Meeting button to exit the meeting. We hope this video has helped you get ready to attend your remote court proceeding on Zoom. You may also want to watch Preparing for Your Remote Court Proceeding on Zoom, as well as review the accompanying resources. Check your local court's website for contact information. The court's website may also include direct links to appear via video or phone. Thank you.